a central integration of the visual and the postural system to maintain the body upright against gravity. This is a vital connection to our lives and functions as human beings, meaning that we are able to change our visual gaze and look at different objects around us in our environment without losing balance every time we shift our gaze. Now, vision contributes to upright postural control by providing afferent feedback to the cerebellum. Research shows that performing psychotic eye movements reduces the amplitude of body displacements. With body oscillations or postural sway, the image of the environment moves on the retina. This retinal slip, which is directly related to these oscillations, is used by the central nervous system as feedback for compensatory sway. The influence of horizontal psychotic eye movements of high frequencies, particularly with the patient who has a wider stance, about hip width apart, actually reduces oscillations associated with postural sway. Now, saccades are smooth pursuit movements that abruptly change the patient's point of, of fixation. They range in amplitude from the small quick movements made while reading to much larger movements made while scanning or checking the surroundings of an entire room. Integrating posture and visual information via eye movements provides crucial support for human activity within our environment. The detection of changes resulting from body movements is necessary for controlling body equilibrium. What does this mean for your patients? So a simple postural drill that you can do, you can test, retest, and perform with your patients if body sway is improved, is the utilization of horizontal visual saccades. I'm gonna begin by testing this with Dr. Mark's visual sway pre and post, okay? If it improves, we know that this is an exercise that is valuable to his nervous system that he should be doing in addition to his postural correction care. Now we're going to go ahead and do the test. In order to get objective results, we're always going to do a test, a pretest, and then a retest after we do the intervention. In this case, it's going to be the psychotic eye movements. So what we're going to do for the pretest is we're going to have Dr. Mark stand with his feet together, close his eyes in normal rested posture, and watch for any postural sway that we see. Okay, I'll have you go ahead, and again, you want to stand by the patient because with really compromised patients, they could have a lot of sway and may even feel like they're going to fall over. So you want to stay next to the patient. Okay, feet together, go ahead and close your eyes. And open. Okay, good. So I'm sure you guys could see with that demonstration that he had postural sway. Now what we're going to do is do the horizontal psychotic eye movements to see if that makes a difference in his postural stability. Okay, I'm going to have you stand facing me and as I mentioned before we want them to have a little bit wide base gait and we're going to do high frequency horizontal saccades. So his feet are hip width apart, okay? What I'm going to instruct him to do are the following instructions. So to start, I'm going to have you look right here in the center of my nose. Can you see my, your, my two fingers in your visual field of gaze? So you want to make sure that the patient can see both fingers, okay? And then I'm going to explain to them what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is you're going to start by fixating here. When you see a movement of my finger, you're going to move your eyes in the direction of that finger. Then when you see another movement, you're gonna move your eyes in the opposite direction, okay? What I want you to do is move your eyes without moving your neck or the rest of your body. Is that clear? Okay, great. And you can still see my fingers? Okay. Great. Now we're gonna retest. So I'll have you stand here again with your feet together and go ahead and close your eyes. Great, open up. Much better. Can you see that difference immediately in the postural stability and his postural sway? Now one thing that I want you guys to do while you're performing the, the psychotic eye drills is you want to watch the patient. So watch their eyes and make sure that there's no nystagmus, that there's no sluggish eye movements, because what you'll see once the patient becomes overstimulated is that they're going to start with quick eye movements and then they'll get more sluggish, or you might see a little bit of a delay or nystagmus. That's an indication that you need to stop doing the drill and then retest, okay? As well as if they start moving their neck or they start moving their bodies, that's an indication that their central nervous system is overloaded, okay? So that was a really good example of how you can instantly increase postural stability via horizontal psychotic eye movements. To learn more about how you can implement drills like this, as well as complete posture correction protocols, visit our website, theamericanpostureinstitute.com.